Well, high school graduation is always an exciting time, but for two local high schools, well, this year is historic. Yeah, St. Thomas High School and Rice Military and Alvin High School in Brazoria County both have their first African-American valedictorians. As Lauren Freeman shows us, these two outstanding seniors have quite the futures ahead of them. Toby Phillips credits her parents first for instilling a great work ethic and her teachers and counselors for helping her achieve this incredible honor. I've always been very confident in my academics and in everything that I felt was important. And if I look back on the goals that I wrote my freshman year, like I did right, I wanted to be top five in my class. And so being valedictorian was just kind of icing on the cake. Toby's teachers and coaches say she's always been laser focused. One of the hardest workers I've ever met. Um, she's full of personality. She is one of my best students. Yeah, she's fantastic. She's the kid who at the end of the year is still working when everybody else is tired and giving up, she is still working. St. Thomas High School valedictorian Kellen McGowan is also the first African-American valedictorian in that school's history. I was, I was always very studious. Throughout my entire four years, I've spent countless hours studying. All of his hard work has paid off and will continue to. He hopes to one day return to Houston after college to work in our community. I'm going to the University of Chicago in the uh, fall. I'm gonna be studying political science and economics. I wanna be a lawyer. Principal of St. Thomas, Aaron Dominguez, says Kellen is a true standout, even amongst many high-achieving students. Kellen is an exceptional student. Uh, it's been really um, a pleasure getting to work with him these last two years. Karen and Erwin McGowan credit the discipline of his school for helping push their son to this level of academic success. He really wants to make a, a difference, make a bigger impact. This fall, Toby will be attending UT in Austin, pursuing a degree in nursing, and wants to become a pediatric nurse practitioner. Kellen hopes to specialize in immigration law after law school. Marion Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.